At the top of the newscast, we told you about two separate orders today impacting bars and restaurants in both Knox County and the city of Knoxville. Knoxville Gyms also on the list of businesses now forced to close under Mayor India Kincannon's executive order. Six on your side is Jordan Kramer now hearing from gym owners getting their reactions tonight. Bo, earlier this week, we shared how several area gyms were offering virtual workouts. Those workouts now the only fitness option in Knoxville with Mayor India Kincannon mandating the temporary shutdown of city gyms. I caught up with a pair of gym owners here in Knoxville today who says that their employees are on their top of mind moving forward. Gym goers across Knoxville enjoying one final workout this evening following a citywide mandate that closed gym doors at 8 p.m. Friday evening and will keep them closed until at least April 3rd at midnight. Well, we were expecting it. Um, anyone with common sense can understand what's coming and how we need to prepare for it. I knew it was coming, so I had already met with my st staff. Uh, we had plan A, plan B, and on, so we knew it was coming. The foresight doesn't lessen the blow for hourly employees impacted by the temporary gym closures. YMCA of East Tennessee President and CEO Jim Dixon has over 400 part-time staffers who are used to working hours that are now no longer available. It's um, devastating for people, but imagine they're going to look at their choices, whether it's unemployment or furlough or just waiting for us to open back up, which hopefully is soon. The YMCA has worked to set up a fund to be able to help the families of their staff. But for smaller gyms like Total Fitness Kickboxing, they lack the backing of a larger parent corporation to have such funds. Still, owner Tanya Wild vowed her employees will be taken care of during the closing. My employees come first. I will make sure that they continue to be on the payroll. Um, they will be on the payroll. If I have to cut my pay, Fine. You know, they, they will be taken care of for sure. While the YMCA plans to bill their members as usual, they're hoping that continued pay serves as a form of donation. Like with tornadoes and with wildfires, this community steps up to take care of the people that need the help the most. Both Wild and Dixon assured me that while their gyms are temporarily closed, they will be using the time to take additional sanitary measurements to combat against COVID-19. Bo. All right, Jordan, thank you very much. And we should also note the YMCA is preparing now to have emergency child care here in Knoxville. YMCA President Jim Dixon telling us that that means parents who have children already in the YMCA program can choose to keep them in the program in a day camp setting. Hours will be from 7 until 6 to help parents who have to go to work.